Hey everybody, this is Barb with barbstamps.com and I want to welcome you to our video today. Today I've got 40, 40 plus cards I want to show you uh, that I've received in swaps that use the Dragonfly Dreams bundle. It's a bundle shown on page 26 of the Occasions catalog. It's got the Dragonfly Dream stamp set and the detailed Dragonfly thinlets. And when you purchase our uh, bundles, you can save 10%. Now the video is going to be pretty long because the last video I did with the Sending Love bundle, you guys wanted me to uh, take a little bit more time to show you what uh, each of the cards look like. And so in order to do that, the video is going to be long, long, long. So I recommend getting yourself something to drink, get a snack, make yourself comfortable, and we'll get into this. If you like what I'm going to be showing you today with all these awesome cards, give this video a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. And you can always subscribe to my channel with this little button down here in the corner if you want to be notified when I do more videos. So clean up the mess and we'll get started. All right, I want to start off with the um, swaps that I got that use this little bundle, this little group of dragonflies um, on the card. So here we go. This first one also uses our Inside the Lines Designer Series paper, which is a free celebration item uh, this year. And um, I just colored the paper with my watercolor pencils and my blender pen. And then I just die cut the group of dragonflies out of basic black cardstock, put them on there, added a few rhinestones and a greeting. Very simple. This next card uses the Succulent Garden uh, Designer Series paper sets. We've got a strip of the paper down the side here. And then behind this white panel is some more of the paper. And then this bunch of dragonflies were die cut. All the little pieces and parts were pushed out. The white was placed over the Designer Series paper. And then they inlaid the group of dragonflies on top of that. So you can see the beautiful paper coming through the wings. Got a great stamp set here with our greeting and the inside is also decorated and this is the solid dragonfly stamp. This is a very cool one that uses our blushing bride glimmer paper so you can see the gorgeous sparkle on that. And we've also got this really cool um, kind of lattice work uh, going on down the side here and I am going to be doing a video to show you how to do that. But for this card, just some gorgeous, gorgeous blushing bride. We've got our greeting in the middle and again the dragonfly stamped on there. Here's another card that I just recently posted on my blog. This also uses the group of dragonflies and um, I made this card and underneath this panel of white is a panel of our vellum card stock. And so I die cut the dragonfly group out of the white. Then I took a sponge dauber with different colors ink, Old Olive, Bermuda Bay, Pacific Point, Rich Razzleberry, and Melon Mambo. And I just used a sponge dauber and ink and I just kind of scribbled some ink on the vellum. So I mean a little swipe here, a little swipe here. And then I just put the vellum behind the white, cut the dragonflies out of black, popped them in there, added some little dragonfly trails with one of my Project Life markers, a little bit of Bermuda Bay ribbon, and uh, some Rich Razzleberry diagonal striped designer series paper. So there's a cool one. Ooh, this one is very cool. So you can see that this little dragonfly guy was cut off from the group and he was placed over here by himself on these circles. This is a great card. Got a triangular piece here and you can see that it was embossed with one of our embossing folders. I can't think, petals? Hmm. Anyway, and then another uh, pass was made with the big shot with the Depper Denim to get this little guy and then they just glued this little guy on top of that to kind of break up the vanilla. So great banner here, put a greeting, decorated the inside and look at that. My guess is they inked up the die, gently pressed it onto the paper and then you get that slight image there. That's another technique I should show you. Here's another one that uses the Inside the Lines Designer Series paper which again like I said is a free item during celebration this year. We've got the black dragonfly group here. Black is just a fabulous color. It just goes with everything and just makes everything pop. And then a little bit of our black uh, baker's twine. And you can see the little tiny flowers here were colored with the rose red marker. All right, moving along. This one, I just love, love, love this card. I love how this um, was cut. So this isn't my card, but my guess is it was a full panel put on the paper trimmer. Uh, made a little diagonal cut and a diagonal cut the other way and then when you spread those apart you get the two pieces and then you can stamp your greeting right in between the two. We've got the dragonfly group but this time it was cut up 
as you can tell, we're using four instead of five. And then they were all covered with Wink of Stella. You see how gorgeous that is? And then we've also got some enamel stars on there. And then we've just got our little greeting in the inside. Next up is a gorgeous, gorgeous purple card. We've got our elegant eggplant, Wisteria Wonder. We've got our elegant dots, textured embossing folder in the back there. Some awesome silver glimmer paper. The group of dragonflies is right here in the middle, and they are, again, covered with Wink of Stella. I hope you guys can see how beautiful that is. And then we've got a little bit of this metallic thread wrapped around this center panel, just to give a little bit more detail. Great decoration on the inside. Perfect birthday card. Next up is this great simple card. The dragonflies were cut out of Blushing Bride, mounted on a panel of Whisper White. We've got a strip of uh, the In Color Designer Series Paper Stack, the 2015 to 2017. So this pack is actually going to be retiring this year. This is Tip Top Taupe. A little bit of a peeking out of one of our new lace doilies on the side there, and then some Blushing Bride Baker's Twine wrapped around the whole thing. Now we're going to move on to the cards that use the larger dragonfly stamp. So we've got this large dragonfly stamp here, and you can also um, stamp this in like a dark color, and then you can put the die cut over the top. But So these are the two stamps that mostly we're going to be focusing on in this next group. All right, so here is a very, very cool card. You may have seen this on my uh, YouTube channel already. I did do a video on this card. It's kind of a diorama window card, so you've got some 3D wing action going on in there. And the window is cut out of the front. Dragonfly stamped in Island Indigo twice. Both times cut out, or no, this time, this, these are cut out. The other one is just stamped on the circle back there. A few sequins, uh, the little dotted pattern stamped down there, and then a banner. And this thing will fold flat for mailing, so fun card. Check out my video. Next up, we've got the solid, or the, yeah, the solid image stamped on a watercolored background. I believe this is just ink on watercolor paper. Or actually, this might be shimmery white. Can you see the shimmer in that? Yes, I believe that it is. So the different colors were just kind of watercolored on there. Dragonfly stamped in the middle. Again, another portion of those great lace doilies. A pearl there in the middle of the body. Uh, this detailed, from the detailed flourishes, I believe, is where that came from. And then a fabulous greeting. Next up, some more smoky slate and uh, dapper denim going on here. We've got uh, kind of a blotch image here. I believe this is from our, one of our watercolor stamp sets. Um, so we've got the blotch image there, the little dots, the dragonfly, uh, your greeting, some dapper denim rushed ribbon uh, wrapped around that, and then a few sequins at the bottom. Great card. We've got another card using some tip top taupe. This one also uses watermelon wonder. Both of these colors are going to be retiring this year. So here is the solid dragonfly that I showed you out of the die set. And then here is the stamped dragonfly, also cut with the solid die. Got a little bit of tip top taupe mini striped ribbon tied up here around this banner. It's got, um, oh, I can't think of what that folder is, but that really cool folder on the back there. And then two wonderful friends just stamped numerous, numerous times on the background uh, just to make your own designer series paper. On the inside, we've got another greeting, and then we've got the dragonfly stamp down here in the corner. Ooh, I love this one. This one uses soft sky and Sahara sand, and then this dragonfly is actually stamped on vellum. It actually looks like it's embossed, so my guess is perhaps that it was inked up in Versamark, then put on a Calypso coral ink pad and stamped on the vellum. Heat set, or covered with clear embossing powder, heat set, and then die cut with the die. And then underneath you've got um, the same stamp, same stamped image. So this kind of just a little bit of 3D effect there. Man, that's cool. Um, a little circle punch out here, stapled to the bottom with a little tiny bit of linen thread. A doily peeking out at the bottom. And again, that same petal folder there on the background. All right, here is another card. It's actually like a card, but it's also um, a desktop calendar because it actually has the easel in it. So you could stand it up on your desk. Um, got the calendar on there, some Bermuda Bay Baker's Twine. Of course, the dragonfly stamped in, I believe it's Pool Party. Got a great saying on here. There's that petal folder again in the background. And then the back of this has hugs, prayers, and love. What a great gift for somebody to have on their desk. Tell them that you really care about them. All right, this next group is going to do the B. First up, we've got the B here, die cut out of black, and then covered with Wink of Stella. 
And this is one of our small folders, one of our half folders. And um, the circle was just kind of punched out of that and then ran through the embossing folder. One of our layering circle scallops down here. A little tiny piece of designer series paper on top of more designer series paper. And guess what? There is that petals textured embossing folder again. Obviously, this is a hot item. You need it, believe me. Uh, so we've got Night of Navy, it's like Crumb Cake, and Daffodil Delight. Great, great card. Then on the inside, we've got the little bee stamped in the corner with that little dot grouping that also comes in the stamp set. And then the greeting. All right, this one is very cool also. This uses one of our um, delightful Dijon doilies from the In Color Doily Package. We've got the hexagon folder behind there, because of course this could be honeycomb from the bees. And then we've got some delightful Dijon mini striped ribbon. A strip of gold glimmer paper. We've got our great large greeting here stamped. It says happy. And then on the inside, we've got enjoy the little things. Very simple. Great card. All right, here's another one. This one is uh, my card, so I do have a video for this um, that you can check out. So I've got the B, and I actually stamped it onto the stitched shape circle in. Um, I think it was Memento Black, maybe it was Basic Black. And then I also stamped the B again on a piece of very vanilla in black. So I stamped black and then I overstamped it with crushed curry, uh, the bold image there. And then I just cut the body out with all I cut out. Placed the body over the body that was black so then it kind of gives it, you know, the black wings yellow body. Uh, this is a piece of paper from the Festive Birthday Designer Series Paper Stack. Some of our natural gold trim ribbon and then just added another little B with his little uh, colored body in there, and our greeting. Okay, this one has some more black bees. Uh, so the die cut bee is uh, glued over the stamped bold image, and all of these are covered with Wink of Stella. Gosh, I hope you guys can see that. I think it's kind of picking up there, if I can tell in the camera. Um, we've got the honeycomb, or excuse me, the hexagon folder again that looks like honeycomb. Uh, black baker's twine. And then we've got our greeting here, the banner cut on the end of it with the triple banner punch and those little dot pattern again on there. Open it up and we've got our greeting and another bee stamped in the corner. Just love that thing. He's so cute. All right, moving on to this card, a very, very cool card, a very, very 3D with um, how this was put together. So we've got two panels of hexagons and these are actually where you ink up the hexagon folder press it onto your paper and then you just get uh, the outline of either chicken wire or you know hexagons there and then a few hexagons were hand cut to add in there for some bling and then we've got a window sheet here you can kind of see that window sheet and it's also so it's popped up with our adhe foam adhesive strips so then underneath the window sheet is a piece of designer series paper from the serene scenes i believe it's called designer series paper stack so this is just oh my gosh this is so cool these bees just look like they're in flight their little wings are stamped on vellum and embossed in black and cut out and the body is done on whisper white the same way i mentioned before both stamps were used and then you just die cut the bodies so super super cool card and of course a great greeting on the inside our last B card is this one using the wood grain uh, in textured embossing folder. And then after you do the embossing, then you kind of just gently rub your ink pad over the top of it to kind of bring out a little more of that texture. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the bees were actually stamped on Soul Saffron with, looks like uh, early espresso, and then they were die cut. So the die cut also works on the stamped image as well. A little bit of metallic thread on the end there and then this super cute uh, little honey pot with a greeting that says you're so sweet and then you open it up it says thank you so very much with a couple more bees on it love that our next group of cards is going to be this smaller dragonfly detailed die here's a couple cards i made uh, both of them use the blushing bride glimmer paper we've got a little bit of silver metallic thread there some silver sequins and then on the side pieces here this is some silver designer series paper from the designer series paper stack the neutrals um, then we've got our banners here at the bottom cut out of blushing bride did i do something oh yeah on the inside i've got that uh, detailed um i can't think of what it's called right now but it's another celebration choice that you can get for spending your 50 dollars um, this month and next month and you can also get that so that's pretty cool for the inside our next one here uses pacific point as our main color and we've got that partial a set of wings that I showed you 
this image here stamped in Pacific Point and then the detailed dragonfly cut out of Pacific Point and we've also got that covered with Wink of Stella. We've got some spackled glitter here where you kind of, uh, I think you mix glue and water, spackle it on there and then cover it with glitter and then it just dries and gives a really, really cool effect. And then we've got to enjoy your special day on the inside. All right, this next one, gorgeous, gorgeous, elegant eggplant card. So the uh, solid dragonfly was cut out of Dazzling Diamonds glimmer paper. The detailed one cut out of the eggplant. We've got a really great flourish design in the background there. Our greeting here is embossed in white and then die cut uh, with one of the banner dies that we have. And then just a small greeting on the inside. Uh, this one here uses mint macaron and white. And so we've got one of the flourish uh, thinlets detailed design there in the back. Dragonfly on the front, add a few rhinestones, greeting in smoky slate, perfect card. This one is so cool. This uses the fabulous foil designer acetate that we sell in the catalog. So this is just amazing. So this is the polka dot pattern. We've got a strip of glimmer paper up here to hide the adhesive. So of course, if you tried to put adhesive um, on a window sheet, you're gonna be able to see it. So you put your adhesive up here, hide it with the strip of glimmer paper, nobody even can see it. So we've got the dragonfly, the solid image cut out of the gold glimmer paper, the detailed image cut out of gold foil sheets. We've got some great metallic thread behind there, a couple of our labels framelits, and this I believe is Island Indigo and gold, gorgeous. Then we've got some gold embossing on the inside here with that kind of dotty splatter image, and then our stylized birthday. Here is a gorgeous card using our copper foil. So we've got the dragonfly die cut out of copper foil, we've got a copper foil layer there, copper foil layer there, copper embossing for the greeting and the uh, dotted image, and then we've got one of our uh, lace doilies. This side showing is the very vanilla, on the other side they're whisper white, so they're two-toned, which is very, very cool. And we've got a blank inside, we can write a nice message. This card here uses both the detailed die and the solid die. So I've got detailed dies on the top, I've got the solid die on the um, Emerald Envy behind there, a piece of designer series paper. This is mint macaron from the 2015-2017 designer series paper stack in colors, which will be retiring because all these um, in colors will be retiring this set here. So we've got the designer series paper, then you cut it in half diagonally, stamp your greeting in there, wrap a little bit of the Emerald Envy Baker's twine around there, and then you can write whatever you want on the inside. Love these colors together. This is Blushing Bride, but the dragonfly is actually stamped in rich razzleberry on that Blushing Bride, mounted on one of our stitched shaped circles. Some more Blooms and Bliss designer series paper. Got our greeting here stamped on the Blushing Bride. This back panel here is Sweet Sugar Plum, and it looks like it's also stamped with that uh, splotty image there um, in the Blushing Bride. All right, we've got more of that Blooms and Bliss Designer Series paper. In fact, check this out. Two of them. Yay! This one has gold accents, though. We've got the super, super blingy gold glimmer paper, gold foil sheets for the dragonfly, uh, the gold metallic thread. The greeting was stamped in black on the mint macaron cardstock, and then the banner ends were just cut, I'm sure, with scissors. And we've got our island indigo as our main card base here. And the inside is blank. Moving along to this gorgeous one with more copper foil sheets. We've got that uh, solid image stamped behind the dragonfly's wings. We've got some Blushing Bride uh, sequin trim. Uh, we've got some more papers from the Blooms and Bliss package. And then the greeting is kind of angled on there a little bit, stamped in black, gorgeous. Ooh, here's another card using the Serene Scenes designer series paper. So we've kind of got this uh, little bit of wheat kind of blowing in the wind. Got some old olive cardstock behind that to give it a little pop. One of our stitched shapes ovals with sympathy on that. And then here is some more of that um, fabulous foil designer acetate. You can see that there are the gold polka dots on this as well as that other card. Bring that back in real quick here. So here's the designer foil acetate here. And this one, uh, the dragonfly was cut out of that same acetate. So that is really cool. Add it on there with a glue dot right behind this little polka dot so you can barely even tell that there's glue on there. Awesome idea. Great card. Oh, we've got the dragonfly stamped on the inside and a greeting. 
This is a cool one. Another one that's kind of got the watercolored background done on the watercolor paper. So we've got some, I believe, Island Indigo, probably some basic gray, and some, hmm, let's just take a step and they're going to say Elegant Ink Plant, not really sure. The Dragonfly is die cut out of Island Indigo, covered in Winkostella. Gorgeous, gorgeous bling on there. And then we've got these little accents here. I can't think of what they're called, but they're a little bit raised up. You've got the pearl inset into a kind of a seat there so very very cool we've got some of the black metallic thread wrapped around a little bit to give it a little more fun bling there we're getting there folks we're getting there we've got this gorgeous card using a navy and silver and this is our uh, some of our designer series paper out of the big catalog uh, we've got some more of that metallic silver thread oh metallic metallic thread is amazing you should get some if you don't have it a little bit of silver foil sheet peeking out on the side there to make that designer series paper pop and then we've got the decorated inside very nice this card is very very simple it's got some flirty flamingo cardstock just a little tiny layer back there some of our organza ribbon the dragonfly die cut out of white and it's covered with i believe wink of stella also can you see that Got a great greeting on there, and then the same greeting we had on that calendar that we had, and then the dragonfly stamped in Flirty Flamingo. This is kind of a cool design here, so it's kind of like a card front, so this back piece is four and a quarter by five and a half, and then you've got this panel um, glued to the top of that that then flips open, so you've got your greeting in here, dragonfly, and then on the outside, we've got some more designer series paper, the diagonal stripe out of the neutrals collection, the dragonfly out of black, and then we've got some crushed curry, those little blotches of circle, and then we've got a bunch of layering, so great card. So we've got this one with some great color choices here. We've got some so saffron, pool party, and calypso coral. And then we've got some Calypso Coral Thick Baker's Twine. Got the Dragonfly popped up on a Circle of Designer series paper. And then we've got our So Saffron layer stamped on the inside with the Dragonfly. Uh, Whisper White card base. A bunch of those Dragonfly group, um, kind of like for the background. And then the Detail Dragonfly cut out of Calypso Coral, just stapled right there on this panel. Uh, the dots all the way around. Your greeting. And some more greetings and butter dragonflies, butterflies. Why do I always want to call dragonflies butterflies? I have no idea. Our last group of cards is going to be using this large die cut from the uh, die set. So this is the larger dragonfly. And this card, so the dragonfly was cut out of Island Indigo. And then we've got some Blooms and Bliss designer series paper back here. And then we've got our stitched shape circle. And then we've got some of our silver, mini silver ribbon, a little bit of baker's twine. And then on the inside, we've got a layer in there with the dragonfly stamped in mint macaron, and enjoy your special day. All right, bring in this card. This one also uses the large dragonfly, die cut out of black, also die cut out of emerald envy and dapper denim. So the emerald envy uh, little pieces were put into the black, and the dapper denim pieces were put into the black to get this two-toned dragonfly. We've got our greeting down here on a little banner some dapper denim rushed ribbon and then on the inside we've just got a very simple happy birthday greeting so great great card so that is my I think 42 I think I had 42 of these cards to show you guys today some of them will be on my blog not all of them um, so if you need to order your detailed dragonfly bundle and you don't already have a demonstrator, I would love to earn your business by becoming your demonstrator. You can go to my website at shoppingwithbarb.com and get all of your Stampin' Up! supplies. And thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day.